Okay, hi everyone, it's, this is Chris and uh, welcome to Watercolor in 5. We're going to take a few minutes just to kind of go over the um, idea of uh, uh, being creative as a watercolor artist and uh, any kind of painting and drawing that we do. It's always good to have a creative um, capacity as an artist. Um, so I know uh, some people um, have practiced more with like free sketching and doing a lot of sketch work and, and drawing, pencil drawings and maybe some pastels and things like that. And then sometimes uh, maybe some of you haven't done as much uh, sketching and drawing. Um, the The thing I, I find is really helpful is if so every once in a while, maybe just once a week for maybe 15 or 20 minutes, um, it's great just to pick up a sketchbook and maybe just draw, draw out some uh, sketch out and draw out some ideas that are just completely your own. You might just think of a scene um, at a local park, you might have um, you might have uh, seen something at a local park or on a recent vacation or something like that, where you can just draw from imagination. Because uh, when we're when we're creating artwork, creating paintings, whether we're working from photographs or if we're working from um, pictures online on our devices, our phones, our laptops, so on and so forth, or even if we're outdoors and we're painting outdoors and drawing outdoors. Sometimes we're going to come across scenes where we need to change things around a little bit to make it look more pleasing, our painting. So the thing is, if you're quick on your feet creativity-wise, you'll be able to uh, come up with different um, adjustments to your uh, composition and your maybe your color schemes, all those type of things um, of just being creative. So here, let's be creative. I'm just going to work from my own imagination. I'm just going to come up with some ideas and I'll just talk about it as I do it. And then you can practice this uh, exercise if you want and then come up with some of your own. And I definitely would uh, suggest, you know, trying to come up with some of your own ideas too as well as practicing this one and, and see how it goes and, and try it out and try to um, uh, try to um, be able to just uh, come up with a few ideas in your mind and then translate them onto a paper and uh, sketch it out with a pencil or a crayon or um, or even just using your watercolor paints and your paintbrush. So we could do this just with paints and a paintbrush as well as um, w with a pencil. So I will do a pencil sketch first. So I'm kind of going gonna, gonna to work like we normally work. Pencil sketch first or pencil drawing first, contour drawing, and then the painting process. But you can just do this on your own with pencil and a, and a, on a piece of uh, printer paper office printer paper or a small sketch book you might have around, so on and so forth. Does that make sense? If we can just practice a little bit once in a while, maybe once a week for 10 or 15 minutes, just whatever comes to your mind, draw it out on some paper and um, try to work out some ideas just for fun. That's all. And that'll really prove to be good when you're out working on your paintings and you need to adjust your uh, composition, your drawing, your painting. You'll be able to sort of do a little bit of uh, uh, artistic and, and free style type of adjustments to, to things to uh, make uh, make your painting look better. So here I'm just going to say to myself, I want to create the feeling of distance right now. Uh, so that, in, so I'm just thinking in my mind, okay, let me come up with like an interesting, um, maybe I'm going to take this painting and go, I might even just do my, I'll do two lines. I'll divide my paper into three, three sections basically, just for to start. And I'm going to say this over here. I'm going to make a a roof and maybe a, so this will be like a house, maybe a nice country house, and we'll make it like a country scene where we're going to have some maybe a, a farmhouse in the distance over here. So I want to 
make this very uh, interesting as far as depth in the painting. I want to create a lot of depth here in this painting, in this drawing. So let me start out. And we'll make a window here. So I'm just going to have some fun. I'll make a window here. We'll make some trim around the window. Nothing fancy, just some... And maybe we'll make the window... So I'm drawing the frame around the window first, and then I'll draw the, the window panes inside. And... Uh, I'll make some boards on the house. It's like a farmhouse style. So we'll make some boards going across here. And this is the roof here. So we'll just leave this pretty much. We'll leave that kind of plain. We'll just use some interesting colors there. Then here. I might do this, I might make like a door and so this will be a door on the side and there's So I'll make some spindles here and a post. Okay, and then over here, I'm going to make another building. And then I'll make things smaller, so I'm going to make some windows over here. I'll make them smaller. So this will be the building in the distance, and we're going to see that through the uh, railing and spindles here. So that's another distant building here. This might be like a farm. An additional farmhouse here. Maybe there's some equipment that were uh, that might be in this building. Some farm equipment. And again, I'm trying to build distance into this picture, and maybe some trees here in the distance. I'm going to have some idea of some fields a little over here, and then another, let's go with a... And I put a barn type structure over here, and this is even further in the distance, so we kind of... We're taking things and going closer, more distant, and more distant like that, so we're going to try to build it in that really interesting feeling of depth in the painting here. And then maybe over here. I 
of a couple silos here. Again, I'm just drawing some house type structures. Okay, so just freehand here, we're having fun. I'm just creating out of my own <clears throat> imagination some ideas of distance in the painting. And we'll just take some paint. We'll have a little bit of fun. We're not going to get too fancy with this. I'm going to use a large brush. So I'm going to use a, uh, this is a uh, Da Vinci Maestro brush, a number 10. I'm going to get some fresh clean water. And we're just having fun again. We're just being creative here. We're trying to come up with some work out of our imagination a little bit. And then we're going to just remember um, closer to us is going to be darker tonal values, darker and richer color. And as, as the painting, as the things go in the distance and as we work on the further portions of this painting out in the far distance, they're going to be more cooler, more uh, bluish in color to kind of give an illusion of uh, more uh, depth in the painting. So we'll start out here. Let's... I'll go with some, we'll do some roof color here. So maybe we'll go with burnt umber, French ultramarine blue, a little bit of um, uh, cerulean blue, maybe a little bit of red. And we'll just, we'll get some interesting roof color here. And again, let's have fun with this. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go too, uh, too serious with this. This is just a fun painting, a creative type thing that we're trying an exercise, so we're not really... So here I'm just trying to mix up my colors a little bit. A little bit of uh, warm colors, reds, oranges, mixing that a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take some uh, green, uh, sap green, and I know in this painting there's going to be trees everywhere and sky color everywhere, so that can go into my window. My glass on my window here can be a mixture of darks and then the surrounding colors that we would find around the area. The immediate area of the window. Okay. I'm sticking with my large brush. Again, I'm going to go in with my roof color here. warm and cool and this is pretty much th 
this would be a little lighter, I might blot up a little bit of paint. Like that. I'm trying to get a little lighter. This is a little darker. This next roof's a little lighter. And we'll go in and we'll do our windows. I'm trying to stick with this large brush here. And again, we're just having fun and I'm trying to I'll add some cadmium lemon yellow for the bushes here. And I'll just add some more color to that. A little bit of uh, yellow ochre too. And I'm, as I work, I'm thinking to just block in some basic colors here. Okay, we're working through our painting here. I might have to go to a smaller brush. Let me try this here. And then I go a little lighter up here. Then we go with some bluer, a shade, a, a tonal value, <clears throat> which is a medium tonal value, but more, more bluish green for these trees here in the distance. We're going to try to cool things down over here in the distance. That'll look a little better. Some cerulean blue. And I just put a little bit of tonal value on there, a little bit of the greenish blue mix on the silos. 
and some more. Okay, this is about what I wanted to do. Now I'm going to just do some real sap green and yellow ochre. And I just try to get a little bit of wash on the The, the foreground here. Just trying to get that line to to look pretty good there, and then a couple, uh, just a couple quick lines. I'm going to go right where my uh, my boards are on the side of the house here. I'm going to just put some shadow under there quick. And the same thing here. A fun time to practice shadowing as well. Uh, burnt Umber and uh, Cerulean Blue is a good shadow color for this here, just to the idea. There's a lot of water here and paint. I'll blot that up a little bit. Put a shadow across there. And again, I'm not being too uh, I'm being carefree about this. I'm not really working too much with worrying about what colors I'm using so much. I'm just trying to mix some shadow color here quick to practice my shadow work here. And again, we'll use some blue. And a little more blue here. Maybe a couple of shadows on this here. And some blue sky here. A little bit of orange. Tiny bit of orange there just to
Okay, so that's really a fun way to practice a lot of things, really. We practiced just creating a, a picture out of our imagination. Um, we practiced uh, distance, getting a nice feel of um, things trailing off into the distance in a picture to give a nice feeling of depth. Um, we practiced our shadowing and uh, a little bit of color mixing. So we, we got a lot accomplished here. Let's try this uh, again. This is just a matter of practicing every once in a while. And if things don't you know exactly come out perfect as we uh, do this here, no big deal. You know, we can uh, you can work and blot things up a little bit as we go. And then once it dries, we can maybe add a few things and maybe we can make some really dark, dark green shrubs over here to make it look more interesting and add a few more things. But but this looks pretty good overall, just for a fun practice uh, exercise to. Um, To get down some ideas and, and do that creative work where we just create things out of our own imagination, put down some ideas on the paper, paint some things, and we can have a little fun exercise like this. Okay, everyone, we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.